Welcome back Etsy sellers. Today's video is going to be a little different than our usual because we are going to take some time today to dive into design. As you know, our channel is dedicated to helping Etsy and e-commerce sellers make more sales for their brand in the most efficient ways possible. And one of the hardest things that we've seen people in our groups time and time again experience relates directly to designing the product. So today's video is going to be dedicated to some Canva life hacks that are going to help save you time and as a designer, which allows you to also get more listings up faster. So if this is something that you are interested in or you've personally had struggles with in the past, we really hope that this video will completely change your perspective and get you ready and eager to start your next design. You guys ready? Let's dive in. <laughs> jump in is the creation space. Today I'm going to give you five Canva life hacks that you can use to create your next design a lot faster. The first thing that is most important before you start creating any design, especially if you are going to be printing this design out on a piece of apparel or an item, is to really get fine-tuned on the size parameter requirements. So if you're currently using a print-on-demand provider, they should have the exact size requirements that you need as well as the DPI requirements so that image prints out in the highest resolution possible. Once you find that number, create a design in the right hand corner, select custom size. Once you do that, you can decide what type of size you want it to be. In this case, we are looking at pixels, but it can also drop down to millimeters, centimeters, and inches. Then we can go ahead and click create new design. Once we do that, we are going to have the exact size parameters that we now need to create and download the highest resolution image possible. The next thing I want to get into really quickly is an easy way that most people don't know about where you can actually filter out the elements that Canva presents to you. So you'll go over to click elements on the left hand side and let's say for this particular search I want to look up the term plant. So we type in plant, click enter. Once you do that you'll see graphics, photos, videos, etc and most people would just start going through each of those. What we're gonna do together today though is a little life hack that will allow you to stay within certain color confinements and size confinements that is applicable to your design. So right next to the little X, next to the word that you're searching, you'll see these three lines with three dots. This allows you to better your search and filter out based on certain parameters that you give Canva. So when we click on that, you'll see that you can search by color, you can search by orientation, by animation, and by price, as well as cutouts. Now cutouts is something that's a little bit newer in the Canva space, but cutouts are something that you're definitely going to want to utilize if you are selling stickers, or let's just say you're looking for a design without a background for a t-shirt, crew neck, hoodie, etc. So here's where the cool part comes in. Let's say you want to create a vibe that's very trendy, it's very aesthetic in like let's say the coquette space so we're looking at pinks we're looking at pastels we're looking at bright greens light purples you can easily choose any of these that they already have to filter out by that color or you can also click this button and find one that's a little more appropriate for you so in this case I'm gonna go ahead and just do the standard hot pink I also want to go ahead and select cutouts only for this particular search now once I do that you'll be able to see that plant with those two filters brought up seven to eight different items. You can go back into the filter and adjust. Let's say we don't want to do cutouts because I'm going to show you how to easily remove a background. And now we're going to see there are a couple of graphics, a couple of photos, and a couple of videos that are related to plant with the focus on the pink color. Are really cool options if you're trying to add, like I said, a pink aesthetic. This one's really cute. It's actually a flan, flan. I know I'm saying that wrong, but it's actually a cross niching opportunity that I probably would have never thought about had I not done this filter. The next thing I want to bring to your guys' attention that's going to save some time for you in Canva is actually the ability to embed your brand. Shirts you're making, the stickers you're making, the tumblers you're making, all use a very particular font pairing. And you don't want to have to go find those 
those two fonts over and over again. Again, this is all about time saving for you guys. So in Canva, there's the ability to embed your brand. And they just added a couple of new things like brand voice, photos, graphics, and icons. They also have obviously your brand colors, your brand fonts, and your logo. But we know we don't wanna put our logo on a t-shirt to sell to somebody else, but there might be icons that you are consistently utilizing for potential scalable designs you're doing. And again, there might be font pairings or colors. Adding those into an individualized brand template is going to make things a lot easier on you by simply coming over and when you're in each of the designs all you have to do is click brand and all of these things will pop up for you here's another life-saving hack that i wanted to show you guys there will be a button that pops up that says change all and you'll see from open sauce to hammersmith one if we click that you'll see that everything that was under what was originally the open sauce font has now been changed across the board to Hammersmith One. And this same concept applies to multiple different designs all the way through. So yet again, another time-saving hack is simply being able to adjust multiple different elements with one click of a button. So the next little life hack that I wanna show you is mostly for our digital sellers. So if you're in the digital download space, if you're in the digital template space, this is going to be very applicable for you but it could also be applicable to the print on demand space if you are utilizing a bunch of different Canva documents and you don't wanna have to go back and forth from each of them to embed different designs. I know that was a lot, but bear with me for a second. Let's say you have an icon or a design in another Canva document and you're thinking about adding it into this one. Instead of going back to that document, downloading that element, back into this document, uploading the element, I'm gonna teach you guys a life hack to cut out the middleman of those four steps. What you're gonna do is come over to the left-hand side and click projects. Once you do that, all of the different projects and documents that are currently available in your Canva account will start to pop up. So you can click on designs, see all. Let's use this cute Corgi as an example. You can click on the design and then it will actually bring it over into this one. Let's use another example now real fast to show you how you can also go through multiple designs. All you have to do is click click on the document itself, you'll see it says one of 11, for example, and then you'll be able to choose the exact individual icon or element or design within those 11. So let's just say this one, for example, and now you can see all of those individual elements were now moved over from my original project to my new project. The last thing I wanted to show you guys real fast was the view more by feature. Not a lot of people know about this easy filtration system on Canva either. And most people also don't know that Canva is actually a collection of different designs made by different designers. So any template that you use had to be created from a designer. So let's say you find a design that you really like, you really vibe with, and you're wondering if that same type of design can be found in different places on Canva. Here's exactly what you're going to do to find that. So for this particular search, let's type in groovy. So let's go ahead and go to graphics as the example today. And let's say you really loved this right here. So once you click on that and add it to your design, you're actually going to see magic recommendations come up. You can click see all and find things that are kind of in the same realm as that particular design you originally chose. But the other life hack I want to show you that can do even more research is actually going to be with these three dots at the top right hand corner of every design. So let's click on that together and you'll see view more by TMN Art. So that means TMN Art is the person or the company who originally curated the design that we liked first, the icon, the element, the graphic that we liked first. So you can simply click view more by and then you'll be able to see all of the different things that TMN Art has actually curated and got approved by Canva to have it listed. So I'm I'm seeing a bunch of really awesome groovy stuff. I'm seeing things that really match the original aesthetic of the icon we chose. I'm seeing some more of those kind of droopy melting faces. So this is one other way that you can actually save time by finding the best elements and the best graphics that are going to make the most sense for whatever aesthetic you are trying to 
have come through your design. The next thing I want to go over, guys, is how to actually edit a design. I found this template on Canva and I decided we're going to go ahead and edit this one today. So what's really cool about these little guys, as you can see, they are elements. So at any time, if you want to go to elements, type in bubble letters, you'll be able to see a couple of different graphics that look like this and be able to find the best one for you. There's also the ability to determine where you want to position something. So let's say we click position on the F. As you can see, the F is currently above the O on the top level, but also behind the O on the bottom level. At any time, you can easily click backward, forward, to front, etc., and you'll see all of those things are going back and forth. You also have the ability to come to click layers, which is a newer feature that came out, I want to say last year on Canva in 2023. With layers, it allows you the opportunity to move all of the individual elements and see exactly where they are currently stacked on each other in one location. So again, this is going to save you a lot of time. If you have to move each of these individual things around, you can simply take the end. You'll see I'm currently on, and then you can move it up here and now it's in front of everything. This is another little life hack that not a lot of people are utilizing, but I highly recommend. So in this particular instance, there are a lot of different elements, which means a lot of room for error as it relates to moving things around. You might try to move good things and then the H comes with you. You don't want that. So what we're gonna do is one of two options. Number one is you can click, hold, and drag, then you're gonna be able to have the decision to move this individually. But when we click off, you can see there's still individual elements. So if we do the exact same thing, click and drag, we can click literally group, which will now turn it into one element instead of multiple individual elements, okay? If we go into position, there will only be two layers, this element and the other one. So let's go to position and you'll see those are the only two layers we have now. Last thing I wanted to show you as it relates to this is the the ability to maybe you don't want focus on the to move at all you want it to stay locked exactly where it is and then good things is going to be the only thing that gets mobilized all you have to do is click on the individual element or click on the group of elements and then simply click lock which is going to be that little key at the top all right guys so that's some ways that you can edit your design now I'm going to get into two different ways that you can scale your designs yet again making it so much easier to save you time and make more sales so the first thing I wanted to talk about is the bulk create feature. So in the bulk create feature, you can simply find it if you've ever used it before on the left side of your Canva account, or you can simply go to apps and search for bulk create. Once you do that, it will ask you to add some data. So you can do one of two things. Either you can enter your data manually, or you can upload data through an Excel file, a CSV file, etc. Why this is important is let's say you want to get into the sports niche and you want to do something along the lines of team name and the sport and maybe the icon like we are doing in this particular example or maybe you want to do something that is basketball mom baseball mom soccer mom etc instead of making all of those individually we're going to use the bulk create feature to change a design with the click of one button so in this case i'm going to go ahead and enter data manually the first thing you're going to want to do is find your design or create your your design from scratch. You can put these in by simply typing. So football, baseball, soccer, pickleball, tennis, etc. So you can pop all of those in there, whatever you want. So we're done with that. We'll click done. And you want to make sure that you label the list. So in this case, we're labeling it sport because that's what I want these to be embedded into. Okay, so we'll click done. Now you'll see the data field is sport. So we have actively done that. So now we can come over here and you'll see right click an element to connect it to your data. So on sport, I'm going to right click and you'll see connect data comes up. Okay, so we're going to click connect data and then you want to find the data field that is applicable to that particular item. And this case the only one we're using is sport so we'll click that and now you'll see it's in I know that's not a parentheses but whatever that thing is called you'll see it's in there and then it'll also ask you if you're ready to continue you say yes click continue it give you the option of deleting some of them if you don't want all of them in this case all of them are selected so now you can click generate five designs once we do that it will take you to a brand new canva document that actually now has I'm a football sister 
baseball, soccer, pickleball, tennis, all of the things that we put in our bolt create list have now been turned into a scalable design. So guys, that was a pretty long tutorial of some life hacks that you could use to save some time while you're creating your designs on Canva. If you guys have any questions about the Canva platform or how you can apply these different life hacks to your individual niche, do not hesitate to comment your questions below and we will get back to you as soon as we can. If you guys liked this video and you'd like to see more like this in the future, I would love it if you liked the video and subscribe to the channel and go ahead and comment Canva in the comments to let us know that we should create more design focused content just for you. That's all the time we have for today. So until next time, we'll see you in the next video.